Okay, so I want to talk about one-step equations again, but today we're going to look at multiplication and division. Okay, so all we're going to be looking at is how to undo our division and our multiplication problems. So first one I want to look at is this problem here. We have negative 3x equals 21. Now, first thing you have to figure out is am I multiplying or am I dividing already? Well, whenever I see a number right next to a variable or a letter like this, that's automatically going to say that's multiplication to me. Okay, so I'm looking again at opposites. Solving equations is all about opposites. So I want to say, okay, what is the opposite of multiplying by 3? And that's dividing by 3. Now, since it's a negative, I also have to divide by negative. These numbers, every time you're solving an equation like this that involves multiplication, should always be the same. They're never going to be different because when they're the same, that's going to get my x to equal 1. Okay, so I'll have 1x. Now, I'm looking on the other side of my equation now, okay? So I did divide by negative 3 on one side. Again, it's all about balance. So if I did that to 1, i got to do it to the other. Now I have a fraction over here, 21 over negative 3. Fractions are just division problems, so really all I'm going to type in my calculator is 21 divided by 3, negative 3. Excuse me, don't forget that negative. I almost did. Don't be like me. Okay, that's going to come out when I plug that in to equal a negative 7. Again, just think, what's 21 divided by 3? That's 7. My signs are different, so it's going to be negative. Okay, so now we have x is negative 7. Right? So that's if we see multiplication. Now, you may see something that looks a little something like this, right? Your problem is going to be x over 6 equals negative 5. Now, this one already looks a little different because right here, first thing you should notice this looks like a fraction. And remember, like I just said, fractions are division problems. So this time I want to do the opposite of dividing. What's the opposite of dividing? Multiplying. Okay, so in order to undo this, we're going to have to multiply. Now, what we're going to multiply by is called our reciprocal. Okay, reciprocal. Just a fancy word for saying the same fraction flipped upside down. So since I have a 6 on the bottom, I want to have a 6 on top. And what I can imagine right now is that right next to this x, there's a 1, okay? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring a 1 underneath. So I'm multiplying the left side of my equation by 6 over 1. Now, if I did that to one side, I have to come over and do the exact same thing to the other side, okay? Now, here I can put a 1 underneath my 5 and not change anything. You can always put a 1 underneath a whole number, and it's still the same number. Now we're going to multiply things out. Remember when we multiply fractions, that ain't no problem. It's top times top and bottom times the bottom. So I'm going to do negative 5 times positive 6. That's going to give me 30. With My signs are different, so it's a negative 30. And then 1 over 1 is just going to equal 1. Now, since I have my reciprocal on the left side, these are going to cross out. And all I'm left with is my single 1x. So I can go ahead and bring him down. Okay, now if I want to simplify this out, negative 30 over 1 is going to reduce to negative 30. And so this is going to be my solution. Okay, I know it looks complicated, but all you got to remember is we're multiplying by our reciprocal. That same fraction flipped upside down. Now, you might see something that looks a little bit different even that, and I want to show you an example just so we've seen it. We may have something that looks like this. 2 thirds x equals 10. This is going to be the same idea, right? So now you're wondering what's going on, okay? Again, whenever you see a fraction, that's got to scream division to you. So to undo this, we're going to multiply. Again, we're going to multiply by that fancy word I said, reciprocal, which just means flip the fraction upside down. So my 3 is going to come to the top, my 2 is going to go to the bottom. And if I did it on the left side, I have to come over here and do it on the right side. Okay, again, I put a 1 underneath my 10, so I have that taken care of, and now multiplying fractions ain't no problem. Top times top, bottom times bottom. 10 times 3 is going to give me 30. 1 times 2 is going to give me 2. Again, these are going to cancel each other out, and that's going to equal my x out to just 1. So now I need to reduce this fraction. I can't leave 30 over 2 just like that. So I can know I can divide both top and bottom by 2, and that's going to give me 15 over 1, or x equals 15. Okay, hope that helps you out, guys. Good luck. Okay, keep on trucking through it.